Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebot 21X. Legends say that those who climbed the mountain never return. Undertale. Hey guys, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Undertale. This time, we're gonna go through the pacifist route. And check out the new update has brought in settings. Try to withstand the sun's life-giving rays. Yep, with these settings, you can change it to... Japanese! Um, currently, I... Not sure if Toby has any plans of making up, um, additional languages, but with the PlayStation version just came out not too long ago, or rather about to come out, I don't know when it's coming out or if it's out yet at all. Actually, I think it is out. But anyways, Japanese localization. Cool, but I'm an English learner. And you might also notice something different. I've actually changed my name from Robert to Kara, which is, well, the official name of the character. To do this officially, you will need to do a true reset, which can only be done after you complete the pacifist route. Otherwise, you can go to app data and simply change the um, data in the file called file zero and well, just open it up with a text editor and just change your name from there. But anyways, I'm no longer Robert. I am Kara. Anyways, if we continue and defeat Asgore, Flowey is just going to show up and be like, Hey, didn't I tell you to do a pacifist run? And, well, we're going to fulfill our promise to Flowey by doing a pacifist run. This name has already been chosen, Kara. Interestingly, if you do um, type out the name Kara at the beginning, a game will straight up tell you that it is the true name. So very well. Everything has been reset. Our love, our HP, our gold, we lose all of our items. We're just stuck stuff with the initial stats. It's as if everything has been reset. How will Flowey react to us? Hello. Hey, remember? Don't kill anyone. I can't believe this is a real thing I have to remind you. <laughs> Good luck. Hello, are you all right? You must be so lost and confused. Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through here every day to see us if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. I will do my best to protect you during your time here. Come. I shall guide you through the catacombs. Save point. 
The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. I am not going to save simply because I want to make sure that the recording is successful. Innocent. Uh, hate to break it to you, Toriel, but I've murdered a few people um, last time I came here. And this is a reset. You don't need to educate me because I know just about everything. Yep. Same dialogue as before. Several? There's only two. That's not several. What I consider several is it has to be at least seven. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. Please press this switch, too. Now, I won't show absolutely everything. Yeah, the switch doesn't even work. As a human living underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. Yes, we know. However, remember what happened? Yeah, practice talking to the dummy. What if I go ahead and talk to you instead? Do you need some ideas for... For conversation topics? Well, I often start with a simple, how do you do? You can ask them about their favorite books. Jokes can be useful for breaking the ice. Listen to this one. What did the skeleton tile his roof with? Shingles! Well, I thought it was amusing. You can say anything. The dummy will not be bothered. Yeah, try telling it to the dummy's cousin who tried to kill me because I said some offensive things. So you know what? I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, the dummy will be bothered though. So I'm not even going to talk to the dummy. I caught it hard in it, but then I, you are the apple of my eye. Yeah, because you, your cousin tells me that you're offended by my words no matter what I say, so I'm just going to mercy you. And I'm sure that just running away would also be pretty rude, so just sparing you. Absent-mindedly. Dummy is tired of your aimless shenanigans. <laughs> oh, Toriel's expression. The next room's awaits. Yeah, I never understood it in my first one, but basically this is supposed to be a, well, blueprint. Just follow the path here, outlined here to continue on. Now, no matter what, here, a frog it will attack you no matter what. I've also learned that this frog it is actually different from the others. This one actually attacks you, and the others, well, just are friendly. This one also has different stats. It has lower defense than the other ones. Anyways, I'm going to compliment you. But was floundered anyways. I'm actually going to try to uh, make every single name of the enemies yellow. Which I do have a list right here for it. Which randomly popped up into the recording. Sorry about that. But it doesn't matter because you're going to hold my hand anyways. Yeah, I get the joke. It's literal hand-holding. Yep. 
Yeah, I know. Just walk to the other side of the room and you're not even g gonna leave me. To be fair, this is a long corridor. I think this song is called Unnecessary Tension. Yeah, I think that's the name of it. Unnecessary Tension. Hello, Torio. Yeah, I know, I noticed you. Because you were there last time, before the reset. Yay, cell phone! I never really used a cell phone, but it's gonna be in a bit more importance for the pacifist route. Yeah, we can't um, call anyone but Toriel, so we'll just say, Hello! I'm not gonna flirt with her, or do anything like that. Cause that would be just rude and awkward. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. <laughs> this is Toriel. You want to say hello again? Salutations. Is that enough? This is Toriel. Are you bored? I should have given you a book to you. My apologies. Why not use your imagination to... Eh. Why not use your imagination to divert yourself? Pretend you are a monarch. Like you? Rule over the leaf pile with a fist of iron. Can you do that for me? This is Toriel. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have much to say. It was nice to hear your voice, though. I can no longer flirt with her. This is Toriel. Hello, my child. You want to know about me? Well, I am say there is not much to say. I'm just a silly lady who worries too much. Damn right. Well, not left much left to do, but just hang out in the realm. Um, if you will hang out here for a few minutes, you know what? I'm gonna do that. And I'll pause until I have new dialogue. Okay, Kara has lost all of my patience. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles I have that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them by yourself. Be good, alright? Hello, my child. Okay. If you stayed, she will eventually lose her cell phone. It would get stolen by a f um, dog. Anyways, frog it. Yep. If you act before a fight, you can always defeat him. 
basically he's just saying that if you lower them to a low enough HP, um, then they'll stop wanting to fight. Again, not going to save. Ah, good frogget. I want to, um, spare you, so... Compliment. Basically, I'm trying to turn all the text yellow because you'll get alternate um, text at the end credits if you do it this way. Bless you steeply. There you go. His name is Yellow. Well, I'm obedient. And I'll tell you how to open the menu. Monster Kenny hails 10 HP, has a distinct non licorice flavor. Okay, well, I took care of Froggit. It leaves Winsoul, Moldsball, Luke's, Vegetoid, Megasp, and of course, Napstep Luke. Easy puzzle, just showing um, that you'll always land in leaves if you fall. This is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait, do not tell me. Is it cinnamon? Uh, yes. She somewhat remembers my answers from last time. When humans fall down here, strangely I... I often feel like I already know them. Probably because they've also reset. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. This is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know you what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? I actually prefer butterscotch over cinnamon. Cinnamon is just too spicy for me. Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Alright, this is Wimsom. I'm gonna have to, even though that your name is yellow right now, I'm gonna console you anyways. Halfway through your first word, Wimsom bursts into tears and runs away. Yep, that's how you turn it yellow on the credits. Hello? You do not have any allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. Alright, I think I kind of remember the puzzle. If I do fall, at least the leaves would um, lay it out. I believe it's down. This way, and um, up. And here. Then down, and around. Wow! First try! A line of molds ball. Well, in order to do... Well, I can um, spare them immediately. But what you want to do to get their alternate text during the credits is to flirt. What a meaningful conversation. Sexy wiggle. Okay, easy. Flirt with the other one. Slime sounds, slime sounds, blurb, blurb. And flirt with the last one. Squares, slime sounds, bubble, bubble. Because I flirted with all of them. Okay. Just, um, Luke's Vegetoid and me Gosp. Yes, I know, you're just gonna hold me up. Wrong direction. And I want you to stay there. There's a lot of sirens outside. 
Man, is somebody sick? Mouse! This juice has been quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. No, of course, this is the first of a running gag. Knowing that the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese fills you with determination. Alright, um, Napstab Luke. I remember I need to cheer you four times. Unfortunately, I have no choice. Here comes Napster Luke! Yay! You gave Napster Luke a pinch and smile. Heh. <laughs> Alright. Cheer the second time. Told a little joke. Heh <laughs> heh. Not really feeling up to it right now, sorry. Cheer a third time. Yep, we know you great Dapper Blue with your tears. And the fourth time. Oh gee, I usually come to the ruins because there's no one's around. But today I met someone nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Okay, how much gold do I have? Only five? Gonna have to spare more enemies because it's important to um buy some items. And it's and you should probably um keep all the baked items until the end of the game. Frog it. Yeah, I can skip your dialogue by hitting the X button. That's right. Well, I'm not gonna skip anyone. By the way, this frog will not appear if you've already used the um, X button to skip dialogue. Anyways, remember, there's only three frogs here, but there are actually four. Ah, Luke's. This is easy. Simply don't pick on him. Finally, somebody gets it. But if you check over here... There's an ant-sized frog in the crack in the wall. It waves to you. You know that um, face at the bottom? Those eyes and face? I've always thought they were just the back legs going back and forth. But no, it actually resembles a face. In the PlayStation version, he's just gonna talk about how to change the borders. This guy is interesting. You are quite merciful. Surely you know by now that a monster wears a yell name when you spare it. What do you think of that? If you say that it's bad, he's going to make everybody um, toss out their signs and, well, you won't be able to see yellow anymore. But if you um, talk to him again, he'll ask everybody to um, return the color. However, since they already thrown out their yellow um, name tags, they're going to have to use um, pink instead. I'm not going to change it. Sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Of course. Hello. I just realized that it's been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but no not carry more than you need. Yeah, yeah, you're just explaining that we have limited inventory space. Okay, uh, down here we should encounter Vegetoid, right? There you are. I want to turn you yellow, not like a coward. In order to turn you yellow, I should say dinner. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. What's interesting is that in the demo, if you choose to devour, it will actually count as a kill. It will no longer count as a kill anymore. Um. Uh. 
I was wondering why I still hear the sound effect, but anyways. Name is yellow, so I can spare you. Uh, I should definitely go back and um, buy an item from the spider bag sale. So all that's left is Migoth and Toriel. So the spider scroll down and gave you a donut. I'm keeping that donut. It's going to be very helpful in the Muffet battle later on. Do 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 do. By the way, if you fast forward this ruin song, it actually becomes Undyne's theme, which is pretty cool. Now down here, I believe there's a ribbon. Nope, just another vegetoid. Ah, me gasp. Now this is interesting. Because it is a hive mind type of guy, you will need to spare the other person in order to get by. So gonna go to Mold's Ball, gonna furtlow with you, wiggle my hips. Filthy single minder. Basically he's mimicking um Mold's Ball mind, so apparently my Mold's Ball thinks that I'm dirty minded. Mmm, cha cha cha. Now all he does is want to do the wave. So Migoth, when it's all by itself, you should talk to it. Hiya! Yeah, you do your wave. Okay, that's every enemy in the ruins. I'm not gonna pick up the knife because I'm not gonna kill anyone. Oh, hey Napster Luke. I fell down a hole, now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Really? Has to be the last one. Here's the ribbon. I never picked it up in the previous playthrough, but anyways. Go ahead and increase my defense. Okay, I'll flirt. Legion, we are Legion! At least I'm getting a ton of gold from this. Hmm. Yep, the room with a change in perspective. I should find the blue switch, which should be behind this pillar. Pressing on anything else would, well, make you fall through a hole. Ooh, two Vegetoids.
At least I'm teaching somebody to be himself. But man, he's annoying to, um, go through. Still not gonna pick up the knife, but I'll talk to you. Yep, I know Toriel came through here. Man, that is a dark blue. It's so hard to, um, see. I can understand, because she was... Because, after all, she is the queen of the underground. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It's irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Well, there's no surprises anywhere because, well, this is a reset. <laughs> doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yep, they fall right off. No point in going there because I'm safe. Yep. It's butterscotch, cinnamon, and pie. Yep, bedroom. Gonna immediately go to bed. Cause then I can get a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. There's a little secret um concerning that that I want to show off that um concerns Asgore. Here's also, um, something that's interesting. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. That may come into a portion later. Intimidates you too much to eat it. Well, Toriel, I'm sorry, but I have to leave if it means freeing you guys from the underground. Yeah, I know, you want to be a teacher, you want to do bug hunting. A very common um, piece of artwork that's spreading around um, depicts Toriel um, bug catching with Frisk. Yep. I'm gonna go home. Yeah, I know. This place is called home, but it's not my home. How to exit the ruins. How about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. I have to do something. Stay here. Well, actually, nah. I'm not gonna go snooping in Toriel's room anyways. Gonna follow you to the basement. You know, it's actually almost impossible to lose to Toriel in the battle. Yep, meets the same phase. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die, blah blah blah. Yeah. Seven children. The six that came here and plus the very first one. The one that was raised by your son. Well, not right. <laughs> Not raised by your son, but raised alongside your son. I'm sorry, but I need to free all of you. You're just like the others. There is only four, one solution to this. Prove yourself. You are strong enough to survive. It's actually very um, difficult to lose this to this fight because Toriel will cease her attacks. Um... Or eventually your attacks are just going to dodge you on purpose. You can die to her and she has a very unique sprite if you do lose to her. But, unfortunately, can't. But like the um, frog had said, sometimes you have to spare people even if their name's not yellow. Easy attack. Just go 
through the lines. Yep, that immediately ends the battle. What are you doing? Getting weaker and weaker. Acting aloof. Attack or run away. What are you proving this way? Yeah, you can move um, slower if you um, hold down X. Fight me or leave. Stop it! Be very careful. Stop looking at me that way. Go away! Getting especially weak. Can I use your weak attacks again? Takes a deep breath. Impossible, they all dodge away from you. I know you want to go home, but... Please go upstairs now. I promise I will take care of you here. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Are you, you making this so difficult? You know, if you attack her right now, it will be a one-hit KO, and you will get alternate dialogue, but I'm going to save that for the genocide route. Please, go upstairs. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped here. The ruins are very small once you get to them. It would not be right for me to grow up... Uh, not right for you to grow up in a place like this. Well, it's not... <laughs> I can't believe I used the wrong pronoun there. Um, well, it's not right for you to stay here either. My expectations, my loneliness, and I fear for you, my child, I would put them aside. Yep, it is impossible to, um, yell Otoriel, but oh well. If you wish to read the loans, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. Hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. Goodbye, kind goat lady. I need to go back because I need to heal. And you know what? I'll even use that save, same save point to um save. All right. Next time, unless play Undertale. Gonna go to Snowden. See you guys next time.